Hey guys, and welcome to the replay. Hi guys! I'm just warning you now, I am a hot mess. Crazy hot mess. Because I was packing my car up. Um, so, things are like crazy town. Um, let's see if I'm live yet. Hopefully I am live somewhere. Not sure where. <laughs> there I am. Okay, so I've got YouTube and Facebook pull up. Hello. Hi, Chima and Gabrielle and Valerie and we the Elliots on YouTube. And oh, well, on Facebook, we got a lot of you. Hi, Amanda and Belinda and Rhonda and Teresa and Dawn Marie and Laura Woods <clears throat> and Nancy, Shirley Hess, Michelle Scott, Ashley. Uh, Ashley, I'm going to butcher your last name, so I'm not going to try. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Laura Woods. Hi, Laura Christensen. Hi, Dawn Jenkins. Oh, my God. Did you survive the crazy storm? Yes. Thank God. It was crazy. My, I think my gutter is ready to fall off my house because of all the rain. Hi, Karen Cardillo. Hi, Donna. Hi, Sharon Oaks. Hi, Denise. So, guys, um, if anybody is going to be in the New York area near Rhinebeck this weekend, please come and see me. I am going to be at the Country Living Fair, hence why... I said I would be non-existent for the next few days. Um, I w Sorry, I'm trying to get these things off of my table. Um, I'm going to be there with uh, six of my team members, and we're going to be working our Chalk Tour booth there. Um, it is going to be so great. So I will be leaving in about seven hours to go. Um, it's a few hour drive from my house. So, um, yeah, that's going to be fun. So, uh, I'm, I'm super pumped though to bring the chalky love, um, to this event. It's going to be, like I said, it's going to be super great. Um, and we're going to have a super fun time, uh, trying to find my black chalk paste now. Is that black? Nope. That's dark blue. Where is my black guys? to do this project tonight not seeing it all right we'll come back to it so okay I know I'm like all over the place I feel like I just need to stay put for a little bit but it'll happen after this weekend hi ginger right how are you it was Gabby it was a crazy day today I was trying to catch up on everything that I needed to before I leave again for the weekend for another event so hey Teresa it's so much better say I miss your face. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Eileen Marini. Uh, hi, Donna Keller. Um, I miss you too, Sage. I'll be back to normal come Tuesday. Um, it will be fun, Donna. Absolutely. Oh, lots of coffee for sure. I actually even already like ground my coffee, so that way I have it for the next few days. I'm such a loser. I'm so crazy. Don't mind me. Anywho, um, so if you are watching on Facebook, Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. If you are a designer, please don't share the video. By policy, we're not allowed to share other designers' videos, and I don't want to see you guys get in any trouble. I appreciate you watching, though. Just please don't share. Um, but if you're not a designer, share, share, share. Please share away. And also, while you're sharing, if you would go and like my Facebook page, um, it'll be the big thumbs up and turn your notifications on for when I go live. If you're watching on YouTube, underneath the video to the left of the chat is going to be the share button. I would love it if you would share. Once again, if you are a designer, please don't share. Um, 
But if you aren't, share away. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get notified when I go live. So that's that. Now, if you have either never watched me live before or you are not already currently working with a designer, I would love to be a designer. Put a one in the comments down below so I know that you are new. Um, if you are already an amazing child couture designer, pop a two down below and throw some hearts up and make sure you like the video on YouTube. Um, and then that way um, we can get rocking and rolling. Um, so... For those that are new, I'm going to throw a little something up here on the screen while I get my camera angles ready. Um, let's do this the right way. Um, you guys can go ahead and read this. This is going to be hopefully a fast project tonight. I'm, I'm praying it will be at least. We shall see. Um, I think it'll be fun. I'll tell you guys the idea behind it in just a sec here. Okay, looks like everybody had, oops, we forgot to add my face. Do we really need me though? Not really. There it goes though. Um, so tonight we are going to make a super cute little tray. I'm going to stain it and then I'm going to put in some of the herbs from the Fresh Herbs Transfer because I plan to have some herbs that we use all the time in the house um, growing once the kitchen's done. Um, I'm going to have it displayed like on my, my little island. So I thought, why not get this done now um, while we still have the transfer? So if you are interested, you can run and grab it in my online store. Um, been waiting two years to say that. Yay, Julie. Hi, Nancy. Hello, hello. Let's see. Thank you for sharing, Donna. Hi, Rosemary. You love my normal sage. I love you to peace. I love you to death. Hi, Carol Moore. Um, I am going to Rhinebeck, New York, Dawn Marie, um, for the Country Living Fair. Hi, Janice. Um, so, um, it should be amazing. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just stain this with a regular old uh, walnut stain. This is actually dark walnut. Now, here is the Womp Womp that I would normally, I would always normally wax my wood after I stain, just so I can help take some of the color off. Sad news is, I've already packed my wax because we need it, we need to wax some of our palette boards for the class that we're offering there, and it is way deep in my car. There's no chance of me getting it. So we're going to hope we survive this. If not, you're going to learn what happens. Valerie Hightower, I am so pumped that you are new. Um, in the comments, I believe, I mean, in the description of the video, Gabby, if you don't mind, in the description of the video is the link to my VIP group. Can you post that on YouTube for me? I would be super appreciative. Good evening, Lisa. How are you? Hi, Dawn Marie. Okay, so if this does not work, you're going to learn why you wax. But we're going to see what happens, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just, I have a cruddy old towel that I use for so many things, and I'm hoping to not stain my white nail polish here. Um, oh, it's already stained. Hopefully, you know what? This is why you wear gloves. So you're going to learn a what not to do from me, just FYI, okay? So all I'm doing is just run rubbing what you, what I should be doing is actually using a sponge brush, which you know what, we're going to do that because I literally cannot even with myself sometimes. Sometimes I am just super careless and this is one of those nights and I don't have the time to be careless. So we're going to just use a sponge brush. It's going to be a little darker being with the sponge brush, but we'll lighten it up. I'm not, not uber concerned not uber concerned whatsoever but I'm just gonna stain it and it's not even gonna be perfect and that's actually kind of why I, I want that um, I don't want it to be perfect I want it to look dingy and dirty and rustic-y like I want it to be like you found this at a yard sale and not that it was a regular old piece of wood tray that you found at the store okay and I know usually I'll have you guys say where did you get it you guys I can't even answer that I have been trying to clean in between doing my bajillion shows 
um, this month. I've been trying to clean out my storage craft closet um, because, you know, we're going to be doing the, the move of my craft room down to the basement once it's finally completed. And I found these, so could not even tell you. They've been there for quite some time. That's what I can say. Quite some time. Okay. It's really soaking in the wood. Sorry, I'll turn this back around in just a second. And this is just, like I said, a dark walnut stain. Now, if I would have had, um, ah, where's that paper towel? Um, don't have the link for your VIP group. What if I had, oh, it's not in the description, Gabby. I thought it's, if you read the description, I think of the video, like if you click in the inside, like where it says, um, uh, like where it has the title, it should be in there. I thought I did that on purpose, but if not, no big deal. Um, I, I'll message it to you, um, afterwards. So we have it. So anywho, um, I forgot where I was, what I was saying. <laughs> um, I don't know where I was going with it. Oh, if I would have had the wax, it would have come off. Oh my God. I'm spraying this everywhere. This is why I'm messy. And you guys probably hear my voice in the background because I'm scared to death we're going to lose sound again, which was the common theme. Oh, don't get on the nails, um, which was the common theme for the last few weeks. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're going to just fold this inside out and we're going to just wipe along the desk here. No big deal. We're going to just keep on keep it on. Oh, yay! Woohoo! Thanks, Gab. You're the best. Okay. So we're almost done. And then I, oh, and actually, I'm glad I'm saying this out loud because I got to pack my heat gun for our event. You know, guys, if you're doing this, wear some gloves. Don't be a me. Okay? Don't pull a me. Get in that corner. Actually, it looks really cool. Like I said, it's looking like super dingy. And I love that look right now. Totally loving the look. Totally, totally, totally. I actually think I'm going to make it a little darker. Usually I like it to be a little lighter. But I really, really like this. I think it's going to look super cute. Once I do the transfer on the inside of it. Oops, I left off the sides. See how easy, like, you guys, it, it's fun to dirty things. I'm the queen of it. Literally, I dirty everything. But it's soaking into the wood super nicely. Like the wood is eating it up. Eating it up. This is great. I'm very happy with these results so far. It looks so cool. I'll show you guys in one second. Oh, look at that. I'm done. Should I do the back? Mm, probably not right now. I will when this is all dry so I can flip it over. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, check that out. Nice and dingy. Just the way I like it. Okay. Or just get your boyfriend or husband to do it. <laughs> right? Oh, that's so funny. Let's see here. Hi, Jen Ridge. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Tamitha. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cynthia. 
Um, let's see who else. Hi, Heather Susan. Hi, Jen Ridge. And one time Michael's had something like this, but it's a long time. Yes, I, I do remember a long time ago they did have them, Donna. I could have gotten them there. Not very sure. Hi, Dee Dee. Um, let's see. Hi, Lee. Hi, Barb. Watch some of your old lives. You and Kelly making the clumsy. Oh, my gosh. That's right, Kel. She needs to get, you know what? We're going down the be, uh, down the camper one weekend coming up. I'm going to make her chalk that weekend. Let's see. Oh, Gabby, thank you so much. Hi, Nancy. You're the sweetest. Gabby is the best admin ever. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we are done. Let's close this up. Um, let's see. Oh. I am making a huge mess. It's okay, though. Okay, so we've got that. Now we've got this out of the way. I wonder if I can close. Sorry, I just want to make sure it got closed, guys, so I didn't accidentally dump it. All right, so I'm going to dry this really quickly. I don't typically like to hit the stain with heat on the wood, but sometimes it just helps dry it so much faster and during this process at this point this is typically when I would wax and that usually helps to take the excess off and make it dry a lot quicker so my biggest concern is the inside here because that's where the transfer is going to go I'm just hoping I don't goof. Oops, it's still wet. Woo, fumes. Okay, we're going to let those fumes go for just a, a sec there. All right, so let's get our transfer up. So we're going to do the fresh herbs. And now that I did the stain so dark, Black is out of what I'm thinking. I'm going to go with white chalk paste for this. Hi, Ginger Wright. Did I say hello to you? Hi, Lori Dearborn. How are you? Okay, let's see. All righty. Pull it out of the package. Now, this is a size E transfer, so it's kind of a big boy. And... On this one, you've got dill and parsley, chives. It says fresh herbs, oregano, lavender, some little, um, like, vases, mint, sage. It's got sage, my buddy sage. Um, and then thyme, basil, and rosemary. Um, now, Oh, Valerie, I see your request for the VIP group. I will get you added in as soon as we are done live. Okay, so basil and thyme are two of the ones that we're going to do. And the third one I'm going to do is going to be, I'm just cutting right along the, white, the, the cut lines. The third one I'm going to do is dill because we make soup all season long because little brand is a little soup junkie he loves my chicken noodle my homemade chicken noodle soup and i put fresh dill in mine so we always need dill so that is something i will have growing all season long okay so here's those cut lines i was telling you about now that it's a smaller one that i can actually get inside the camera angle i'm going to go ahead and cut it and then we're going to go ahead and label the back now, the reason we label the back is because it is reusable over and over and over again, okay? So we've got time, T-H-Y-M-E, and the, back, the side that we're labeling is the paper side, okay? The side that the transfer stuck on is the glossy side, okay? I posted the link on Facebook Live as well if you haven't already noticed it. Thank you, Gabby. You're the best. Okay, so let's see. Do we have anybody else come in? Hi, Judy Bell. How are you? Hi, Julie Gushes. Is am I saying it right? It was super funny. Hi, Roberta. It's kind of a big deal, right? It really is actually a big deal. I hope it fits. I might have to purposely move the letters up. All right, so 
Next thing we're going to do, so wait, let me show you this real quick first so you can see, see how the light's catching it? You can tell it's glossy. That's the side we're going to restick our transfers back onto. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the fuzzing towel, and the side we're going to use to fuzz has the tag. That is the fuzzing side. The side on the inside is the microfiber side, okay? We're not going to use the microfiber side. We're going to use the fuzzing side. So I was about to comment, do you have your marker? Then I saw it off to the side. Yes, ma'am. I got it. I didn't see it at first, but it's because my desk is literally a mess. I cannot show you guys behind the scenes. Just can't. It's bad. Really bad. Oh, my gosh. And I was thinking of all of you guys. While I was at the nail salon today getting my nails done, because um, I was watching the news because they had it on, and they said they had the top 10 least favorite accents, and number two was New Jersey. I was like, awesome sauce. Just awesome sauce. Anywho, moving right along, I just thought you guys would find that to be interesting. Okay, so um, I'm going to pick this up. And put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down a few times. Because like I said, I typically would have waxed this wood. I did not wax it, so I'm taking a nice big chance on this. Um, and it's because my wax is packed away in the center of my car underneath a bajillion things. So I cannot physically reach it. Um, and I, like I said, I'm taking a chance. So let's see what happens here. So I'm going to pop this down and I'm going to try that actually looks nice and centered. I may have actually, uh Oh, there it goes. Sorry. My low battery came up. Hi, Terry. Um, yeah, I got to watch just chalk as my final Facebook act before leaving for vacay. Oh, Jen, you're so cute. Have a great time on vacay girl. Okay. So I am not going to push down crazy hard because you guys, hi Heidi, because like I said, it's unwaxed. Oh no, do I have white chalk paste? I just remembered as I pulled this up. I'm praying we have enough white chalk paste here because I remembered as I was opening this that I was running low the last time and I said, oh, we'll have just enough. So let's pray we have just enough still. Definitely need some water. It does look centered, right? I'm super impressed with myself. Okay, I think we're going to have just enough. I'm praying we have just enough. Okay, so we're going to do one at a time. Take my small squeegee. I'm going to pull the color down. Ooh, the white's a little chunky. Please work. Please. I need you to work for me. Whoa. Okay, got my lines up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel it back. Ooh, it bled a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. See how it bled a little in the center? It's all right. I'm 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 okay with it. As long as it didn't wreck it, I'm good. It actually, I, it's only because I recognized it, but if you guys didn't look at the transfer before, you may not have, have noticed it. If you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to share this. Thank you, Gabby. You are the best. I love you. Hi, Denise. I know fresh linen would probably look good, too. And eucalyptus, actually. But I'm trying to not work with the same colors as always because I had someone nasty gram me that. So, people have, people talk big talks on behind the screens. I call them Captain Keyboard. So I had someone say that she hated that I used only the same few colors and I'm trying not to use eucalyptus as much because that is one of my favorite colors at the moment. Um, my super go-to color, I'm telling you, I adore it. I'm going to be super sad when it go if it ever goes away. 
So hopefully it won't. Oh, I'm trying to line up. Okay, let's see if that looks good. It looks lined up pretty well. Let's try and do this and then basil on the opposite side. Come over here. Hi, Lisa. The stain takes like 24 hours to dry. That's why it bled. It, it could be. Well, I did hit it with heat, so it's definitely dry. I think it's because I didn't put it down all the way and I added too much water to my white. That's probably why it, it, it um, bled a little too. Um, it probably would have been helpful had I had, had not added as much water as I did. Um, and because, like I said, I didn't want to push down too hard because I did not wax. But definitely could be that too. For sure. For sure. That actually, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. That looks, Liz, how are you girl? Hi Lisa. For real, someone messed you. Yes. Um, she actually popped it right in the comments on YouTube. <laughs> um, I'm in love with eucalyptus too. Yes. Keyboard warriors for sure. For sure. For sure. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if I can just get just enough out. Like I said, just enough. Not asking for extra, just enough. Okay. That looks pretty good. Ooh, yeah, it did, did bleed a little bit over here, but hopefully I'll be able to get that off with a Q-tip, actually. Let's test that out. Q-tip, stat. Yep, that came right up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. It's definitely because the paste is runny. <gasps> and it did it on my ass and I didn't see that. Hopefully, we're going to salvage that as well. But I could totally see, too, the stain is definitely wet as well. <gasps> that, I just made it even worse. Hold on. Because my fat fingernail. Oh. It's fine. I'm not messing with it anymore. It's going to be just fine. Okay. It's going to be just fine. It's going to look great. Okay, let's see how this looks. Oh gosh, there we go. That one turned out perfect. Hey babe, are you up here? Oh. All right, let's try these guys. This looks adorable. And this is gonna be, hi Norma, color cut coat. The person that's in an Instagram must not be very creative. Creative person doesn't focus on the you Norma I appreciate it I try to branch out with all colors well but sometimes you got to do what sings your art exactly it is and you know what you guys I make things because I want to display them and I want them to match my home so sometimes I use the same colors and that's okay right it's totally cool hi Jessica could you add me to the team pages tonight yes Amanda I am so sorry I totally will get you added absolutely message me and just message me and say do it now lady and then that way I will get it done um hi Lisa how are you this is amazing love it and he goes best call it is Ashley agreed hi Deanna 
Hi, Carol. There's my three favorite herbs. Yes, Rhonda, right? Sis-in-law wants that one. There you go. Thank you, guys. Oh, this turned out so cute. So what I'm going to do is, so it's going to actually stand up like this, right? I mean, I know you guys didn't see that, but it'll stand up like this. And I'm going to have little itty-bitty planners in front of it, and it's going to be what it says. Um, what I was actually thinking is, is if I can find another... Um, um, what is this called? Tray, just like this one, the same size. How cute would it be to like glue it onto it? And like, it'll be up a little bit because it'll be the same tray size and then put the planners in there. I think that would look super cute. So that is it. That's the project y'all. Super easy peasy, right? Easy, easy peasy. So let's chit chat. Let me get the lid on this. I've Oh, I've stained all over my fingers. Okay, so let me show you guys. How cute is that? Bezel, dill, thyme. They're the three that we use the most. I can't wait to put them. And I will stain the back of this, but I'll let everything dry first. So if while you were watching and you said to yourself, I have just got to get my hands on some of these products. Well, guess what? You're in luck because I would love to be your... Uh, designer if you're not currently working with one. All you need to do if you are not already working with the designer is comment me down below and I'll message you the link to my VIP group. In my VIP group, there is so much going on. There's try me kits, there's intro kits, there's bundle deals. I have a monthly chalk box subscription that I do myself. Um, I have special offers and I have over 500 chalk couture videos that I pray would be bound to bring you some sort of inspiration. So if you're interested, comment me down below and I'll message you that link. Now, if while you were watching, you say to yourself, I am so ready to start building my empire. I am ready to purchase a business in a box for either $99 US or $126 Canadian. And I want to get my business rocking and rolling. Well, guess what? Now's the time and you can. It is such a great time to join Chalk Couture, okay? If you would like to get your hands on this amazing new designer kit, Okay, like I said, $99 US or $126 Canadian comes with eight transfers, five chalk paste, two chalk boards, a small squeegee, 12 thank you cards, an apron, um, and a read me intro along with your catalog. You can do this and it can help you build your own business and build your empire. If you are looking to save money um, to help make car payments or to help with your family food shopping bill or for extracurricular activities for the kids or to save for college or just to save money in general. You can do that. It will take hard work, but you can do it. Um, I can speak for it. Um, so definitely if you are interested in hearing all about not just joining my team and, but joining Chalk Couture and making uh, and getting the information you need to make an educated decision about whether this is the right step for you, comment, join down below. I'll message you the link to the opportunity group. Um, so here is the next thing I want to say. If you are looking to get your hands on the amazing Club Couture um, subscription, which is the this super cool club, it is only $19.99 a month plus tax and shipping US, $26.99 a month plus tax and free shipping in Canada. And I'm so sorry, I meant $19.99 a month plus tax free shipping in US as well. It is an exclusive size B transfer plus three chalk paste singles that will come to your door every single month without fail. There is a minimum of a three month, <coughs> three month commitment. You will be billed on the fifth of every month and then it will ship. So it is the coolest club ever. And if you are, um, once you put the Club Couture into your cart, you have the ability to add the Club Couture Kickstarter kit into your cart. It is um, $69.99 US, and I believe it is $87.99, I think was the total for, Can for Canada. Um, you can add this Kickstarter kit. It is super amazing. It comes with a 9 by 12 Aiden porcelain steel magnetic chalkboard, a board and base, a multi-tool, a small squeegee, a two-pack of board erasers, and a three-ounce bright white. It is perfect to go ahead and utilize with your awesome Transfer of the Month, a.k.a. Club Couture subscription. And the only way you can get it is when you first sign up for Club Couture. So if you're interested in getting your hands on Club Couture, all you need to do is comment Club Couture down below or 
Go right to that link and sign up. You will not want to miss out. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, two point, you guys are so funny. If they are small enough, can I also drill holes at the bottom? Yes, Gabby, that's a great idea. Um, so cute and timeless. Two point, you guys are having a pun joke, pun jokes over here, and I love it. Um, thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. Hi, Shirley. Yes. Hi, Debbie Lucas. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I will be back on Monday night with a live. I'll be going tomorrow through late Sunday night for the Country Living event. Remember, if you were in the Rhinebeck, New York area, come and see me. The show is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is going to be amazing. You don't want to miss out. But I thank you all for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me. Uh, I hope you like my project tonight, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!